Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. We begin on page 11 in the Book of Common Prayer. The opening sentence this morning is from Malachi. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among the nations. And in every place, incense will be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. The confession of sin. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the psalm readings and the New Testament reading. This is Psalm 26. Be my judge, O Lord, for I have walked innocently. My trust has been in the Lord, therefore I shall not fall. Test me, O Lord, and prove me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your loving kindness is ever before my eyes. And I will walk in your truth. I have not dwelt with evildoers. Neither will I have fellowship with the deceitful. I have hated the company of the wicked. And will not sit among the ungodly. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord. And so will I go to your altar. That I may lift up the voice of thanksgiving. And tell of all your wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house. And the way where your honor dwells. O oh, take not away my soul with the sinners. Nor my life with the bloodthirsty. Whose hands are full of wickedness. And their right hand full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk innocently. O oh, deliver me and be merciful unto me. My foot stands firm. I will praise the Lord in the congregation. Psalm is Psalm 28. Unto you will I cry, O Lord my rock. Do not be deaf to my prayer. Is it, is it Blessed if you do not answer, I become like those who go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my humble petitions when I cry unto you. When I hold up my hands toward the sanctuary of your holy temple. Oh, cast me not away, neither destroy me with the ungodly and evildoers. 
who speak as friends to their neighbors, but imagine evil in their hearts. Reward them according to their deeds. And according to the wickedness of their own inventions. Recompense them according to the work of their hands. Pay them what they have deserved. For they regard not in their minds the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. Therefore, he shall break them down and not build them up. Praise be the Lord. For he has heard the voice of my humble petitions. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy and, and in my song will I praise him. The Lord is my strength. And he is the sure defense of his anointed. Save your people and give your blessing to your inheritance. Feed them and lift them up forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And then the second lesson. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the sixth chapter, the first verse. After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up to the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then, seeing that a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test them for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread would not be enough uh, for each of them to even get a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus says, said, have the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down about 5,000 in number. Jesus then took the loaves. When he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated so also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, gather up the leftover fragments that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled 12 baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, this indeed is the prophet who has come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were frightened. But he said to them, it is I, do not be afraid. Then they were glad to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat was at the land to which they were going. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Mania et Mirabilia, on, found on page 79. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. <laughs> o Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Eternal Father, at the baptism of Jesus, you revealed him to be your Son, and your Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. Grant that we who are born again by water and the Holy and this Holy Spirit may be faithful as your adopted children through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Now I have time for intercession and thanksgiving. Heavenly Father, guide us and direct us. Help us to celebrate you and to know you more fully as we guide our lives through the confusions, through the illnesses, and through all of the uproar of the day. Be with us and cover us with your peace. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for a peaceful inauguration, and I ask, Lord, that your hand would be upon all people in this nation mm, yes, for yes. peace and love. Mm. Lord, lift up my brother-in-law, Chris, as he recovers from COVID, uh, and Lord, across the world, we pray for those that are battling COVID. God, would you um, ultimately have the victory over this virus and I thank you that there's hope coming and it won't be forever oh Lord we thank you for your many blessings blessings of family and church family we pray Lord for Christ the King for our parishioners for those who are sick those who are at home, we ask, Lord, for your presence to be with them, that they know that uh, we continue to pray for them and support them as best we can. And we ask, Lord, that you continue to guide the leadership of uh, this church and also of our diocese as we transition into having a new bishop. We pray for Canon Stephen, who's our bishop-elect, and Tricia, and Pray for our standing committee and uh, Father Hal Scott, who is the chair of the standing committee and pray for wisdom for him and for other members of the standing committee as they begin planning the consecration and also the future plans for the diocese. In Christ's name, amen. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, our unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. 
but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.